Welcome to a brief overview of the document management options in Pivotal CRM. There are two primary options for document management. Firstly, we will look at attaching a file to an existing entity record in Pivotal. This embeds the file as part of the Pivotal database and is therefore backed up whenever the Pivotal database is backed up. Secondly, we will look at the new Pivotal document management application which offers easier out-of-the-box out of integration with Microsoft SharePoint. As an alternative solution, Pivotal clients may also integrate Pivotal with a third-party document management solution such as Trim. Eclipse has completed this integration for a number of our clients. The first option, attaching a file, is as easy as opening the record going to a new tab called Attachments and adding a record. We've created a column called Description where we'll just hold some text about the type of file we're attaching or embedding. We'll file note and then in the File Attachment column we can right click or double click and navigate to the location where the file is that we want to embed. I've got a file note for Dave Bally, I'll just open that. I'm going to apply this record so it's saved. You'll notice that whenever a user comes back into the system and opens up Dave Bally's record, looks at these attachments, right, right clicking on that file attachment will allow that user to open the attachment, change the attachment or look at the properties. Very simple straightforward process of attaching or embedding a document within the system. Moving on to the new integrated SharePoint solution, Pivotal Document Management leverages SharePoint's powerful document management features directly from within Pivotal CRM. This reduces the load of storage and maintenance of documents that would otherwise impact Pivotal CRM database performance adversely. Document management features can be easily made available for any of the Pivotal CRM business entity types, not just contact, or company, but also opportunity, service request, etc. This is simple as adding the new document management task group to an entity record and setting up a document library for the entity type in SharePoint. Users can then upload documents, search for documents and save those searches, look at the saved searches and rerun them, and view linked documents. Documents uploaded to SharePoint for each entity record are stored with a unique entity with a unique entity folder directly within SharePoint. If we open up SharePoint, you'll see that I've got folders for contacts and these folders have been automatically created for four of my contacts from within Pivotal. Within Pivotal CRM, document management security operates at the following levels. Through control of access to the document management features in Pivotal CRM, if we look at the Pivotal Administration Console, you'll see that Kathy Green is a member of the Document Management Administrator Group and the Document Management User Group. The User Group is a required security group for any user wishing to see those document management tasks. Secondly, through permissions to SharePoint team sites. Permissions to specific team sites in SharePoint are assigned to specific document management user groups in Pivotal CRM. This is managed, managed through the, do the document management administration subject. The document administrator will be able to create a document site and then also be able to create team sites and user groups to control levels of access for various users to various areas of the SharePoint. This will allow an administrator control access or limit access of various users to confidential document folders within SharePoint. Let's go back to Dave Bally's record. For an entity such as a company, contact, lead or opportunity, you can upload relevant documents to SharePoint using this document management feature. When you upload a document for an entity, 
the document is stored in SharePoint within a folder reserved for that entity record as we saw previously. The target folder is created on upload if it does not exist already. Note that when you attempt to upload a document that already exists in the entity folder, one of the following options is available. If version maintenance is enabled for a team site, a new version of that document is added. If version maintenance is not enabled, the option to overwrite the existing file will be provided. Using the Upload Document task on the Document ta Management task group, we go to a new, fault, a new tab within our SharePoint and we're now operating directly in SharePoint. We can browse to a document area and so if I wanted to add an, a copy of the early retirement brochure to Dave Bally's SharePoint folder I simply click on that select open and then OK. You'll notice before I do that that I have an option to upload multiple files from my local disk or from a disk that, a directory that I have available. I'll just click OK there. I've now got the early retirement brochure as part of Dave Bally's SharePoint folder. Operating within SharePoint means that a SharePoint administrator can configure the way SharePoint operates, the task pad down the left hand side and the whole look and feel of the SharePoint site can be configured by the SharePoint administrator. The document properties page is displayed in SharePoint with the uploaded document listed within its contents as we saw. We can use the search for documents task group task item to enter a search with basic criteria and with refinements where we are able to select the team site, the document library that we've allowed that we're looking in such as company contact or opportunity, the content type that we're looking at and that might be defined by the administrator as being Word documents, PDFs and so on. And then we can sort the viewing by whether it's by date, of, by date modified or by relevance. We can save the search and reuse it later. Looking at the view, the, the documents we already have linked, we just click on the task item in that group and it takes us back to the Dave Bally folder and we now have the list. We can do all of the typical things in SharePoint now in terms of checking it out, viewing properties, editing properties, managing permissions um, and sending a copy or emailing it or downloading it to our local hard disk. Full rights to SharePoint depending on your own security as determined by the SharePoint administrator. That's the end of our little overview of Pivotal and Document Management. Thank you for looking, looking and listening.